this is called Soka Music. It is started in Trinidad and um, a lot of the Caribbean islands. I actually grew up in the Caribbean, in Trinidad and Tobago. I lived there up until college. When I was in business school, you had to take a science elective as part of the curriculum. And I'm like, man, I actually miss this stuff. I graduated, worked for three years in the financial services industry. But I decided to do medicine after work. I would then go do my prerequisites for medical school. I actually joke with people that I make less money now than I did with an undergrad degree. And so sometimes I'm like, hmm, that was a poor life decision. And now if I had to choose again, I would still choose medicine. I definitely love being here. I love taking care of patients. They have this amazing ability to be positive, even when they don't feel well. I think adults are really stubborn people, and often I found myself wanting more for my adult patients than they often wanted for themselves. And you don't get so much of that with kids. You often get parents who are really willing to do whatever to make sure that their kid is healthy and has a good life. Before every case, we do what's called a pre-procedural huddle. We basically review the patient that's coming in. We talk about what procedures they've had in the past. So I was going to do two points of venous access, a four and a six on the right, and then a five on the left. We talk about what the goals of the case are and what we need to accomplish. But then you also have to shift gears and think about the parent and what the parent is going through. She's so small that we don't want to put a tiny stent in there because the stent is not going to grow with her. So we're going to try to just get away with doing the balloons. Sometimes you get in there and something changes and you have to do more than you anticipated. So yeah, we thought we were just going to put a balloon up and expand that area, but probably would not have responded to that therapy, and so we needed to put stents in. So we put a stent in on both sides, now that's what they look like compared to that. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. This is one of the fields that requires probably the most time in medicine. As we work 80 hours a week, which is two full-time jobs. I am pretty recovered, I think. I was here a long time for the weekend. I slept on Monday and then Tuesday I was here all night. You really have to push through those days because those days I feel are far fewer than the days that are so rewarding. There's this unspoken rule in my family that you don't call me during the day. Because if you call me during the day, I think something is crazy wrong. If you text me, that's great. Or if I have time during the day, I can call you and we can talk. Do you realize really why you decided to do this? People do it because they love it. I don't think there's anyone in this who's doing it to make money. I just signed myself up for another year of training to do interventional cardiology. So this is going to be my life in the cath lab. I'm really looking forward to an attending faculty being able to teach a lot of fellows and residents and students. I look forward to doing things not just in the US but around the world as well.